Hello everyone. So this is a very interesting question, and this question is not based on OPAM. This is a question of what is the previous uh, topic we have studied? Uh, feedback topology. This is completely based on feedback topology, and we have discussed a lot. So I I suggest you to try it on your own. Okay, just try to do it on your own. It's a question on feedback topology. We have understood it very very deeply. So let me solve it from my side now. What I can do is that. This is what this is a trans resistance amplifier, right? Here this is zero. This is input current, output voltage. Current mixing voltage sampling, trans resistance amplifier, right? What I can do is that I can replace it something like this. A current source. the value is v in by r1 and in parallel to there is resistance r1 right we can do it source transformation and there is this feedback involved this is rf so basically if we make 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 the what do we say uh, make this uh, Block, block diagram for trans resistance amplifier what is that we have studied it block diagram for trans resistance amplifier trans resistance amplifier trans resistance or i should write i should better write it as voltage current topology we shouldn't say trans resistance amplifier voltage current topology we should say voltage current topology so what is the block diagram for voltage current topology there is an input current right from input current if you want to have a voltage output what should be multiplied rm right then the output we get output then in feedback we have a gm right in feedback we have a gm so that would give you a current that is known as i feedback that is gm v not input current if you consider open loop if you need output voltage then we simply need to pass it through a resistance so your uh, you will get a voltage output if if you consider feedback from feedback we need a current so we multiply it multiply it with trans conductance okay so that gives you i feedback gm v not so this is what uh, what is the case okay so if you compare it with the previous one you can see that what is x1 what is x1 1 by r1 right this is the source so x1 is 1 by r1 so basically i in your i in is first thing your i in here is v in by r1 so you can say that your x1 is 1 by r1 right this is that sir now talk about the feedback just take this again because it will be highly used now talk about the feedback second thing if uh, we can call a potential here v dash we can say uh, in uh, across the across the current source there is a potential v dash so first thing we know is that for trans resistance amplifier input is current trans resistance amplifier input is current so you need r in to be low amplifier r in should be low you should have a very clear idea about the feedback topology then only you can solve it for trans resistance amplifier r in should be low that means your v dash should be low that shows that v dash can nearly go to zero volt right so this can nearly go to zero volt we can short circuit this right so if this goes nearly goes to zero volt what will be the feedback current i feedback i feedback in 
if this goes to nearly 0 volt that means your i feedback would be v naught by rf but uh, sorry sorry the direction of i feedback will be like this because this is the input current right this is the input current i in so this should be the feedback current right this should be the feedback current no? so i feedback would be minus v naught by rf so from here what do you see your beta is minus 1 by rf do you get it the assumption we made that r in is very low this is not the input resistance of uh, op amp okay r in is not the input resistance of op amp i should write or i should better write it r in dash r in dash is low so v dash is low so we made this assumption we made this zero no no one will say that there is open virtual short that's why it is zero no no r in dash is low v, v not dash is low v dash is low that's why v dash is equals to zero so i feedback is minus v not by rf so feedback factor is minus one by rf this is the beta we have okay now i have to add a page we are having this feedback factor minus 1 by rf okay now we need to find alpha so in open loop in open loop what is the condition i in I in goes to an amplifier that is alpha I can say so I in goes to an amplifier and give you some voltage output right now what is happening here this op amp has a high output impedance now also what I can do I can make the open loop configuration here as well. This is V in by R or R1. V in by R1. V in by R1 and this is also V in by R1. Now this complete V in by R1 current will flow from this resistance only right and this is your a so basically this complete current will flow from this resistance only so v in by r1 v in by r1 is what v in by r1 is i in so here what is alpha alpha is rm only right if you compare it with this if you compare it with this this alpha is rm only right so your i in into r1 into minus a is equals to v naught so what is your v naught by i in that is minus a into r1 that is minus a into r1 that means alpha equals to rm what is that v naught by i in that means your rm is rm or alpha i should write alpha is minus a into r1 okay so this is your alpha so do you understand this complete question what did we do first we talked about the input from there we go to the x1 is 1 by r1 then we talked about the feedback feedback is the current so it is v naught by rf if is the negative so minus v naught by rf so your feedback is minus 1 by rf to find the forward gain we made it in open loop in open loop we have input current r1 resistance and then we find the relation that v naught by i in is equals to alpha okay that is equals to rm so i in into r into minus a v naught by i in is minus a r a1 r so this is how we got the value of alpha beta and x1 okay so this is the complete analysis okay so that's how they can ask you the questions okay
Okay, now we can make the block diagram and comment on input output relation by your own. Okay.